Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a look at the Edward Dower Caledonia, 12 years old. It's around 50 euros, dollars, pounds and has an ABV of 46%. It's uncolored and it's dark. It's really dark because it's matured for 42 months in sherry casks, uh, especially in Oloroso sherry cask, which had a lot of fruitiness and intensity uh, from those Spanish sherry casks to the Eredaur. And Eredaur is famous for the 10 years old, which I, I think, yes, I took it here on my cask a few years ago. And uh, this one is an extension to the normal 10 years old. And it was produced together with a Scottish musician called uh, Dougie McLean. I'm not uh, knowledgeable in, in Scottish music. Uh, so he's a musician. I think he's playing the guitar. And uh, here you see a picture of him. Oh, here, you can see it. With a guitar in his hand. I wrote Caledonia in 1977 on a beach in Brittany, France when I was generally homesick for Scotland. My life has always been based in Perthshire. For me, the location of Eredaur with this neat cluster of white shed, whitewashed buildings uh, repainted every year. Uh, traditional equipment and employment of ancient methods of making single malt whiskey combined with a state-of-the-art bottling facility. Typify Caledonia. This is an extremely narrow writing here on the bottle. I'm afraid it's not good to read for anybody. So it is great to be joining forces with Andrew Symington at Eredau Distillery to bring you this wonderful, rich and complex 12 years old single malt. Let me tell you that I love you and I think about you all the time. Caledonia, you calling me and now I'm going home. I think I, I know that. That song. But if I should become a stranger, you know that I would make me more than sad. Caledonia's been everything I've ever had. The chorus from Caledonia. I think I know that. <clears throat> we go and whoops I do have a miniature of this 12 year old and therefore I do not have to open a complete bottle wonderful and don't be afraid that this one looks uh, lighter than the other one this depends on the thickness on the diameter of the bottle uh, the more the light has to pass through the whiskey the darker the whiskey appears And uh, this small miniature uh, shows less color. Yeah. Yeah, it's a an Eredaur, of course. It has this intensity that very small stills of Eredaur bring, and. Uh, This summer, now it's uh, May 2017, and this summer, or late this summer, the new stills at Eradao will be placed in the new still house, and they will look exactly as the old ones, so that the character of the spirit won't change. Fruity, vanilla, sherry, lovely and complex. So this is an intense sherry matured whiskey not typical space side for that it's not citrus notes light fruity but it's dark hefty fruity from this extreme long time of finishing in oloroso sherry cast those 42 months close to four years so they took out the casks from the normal uh, edredour maturation process of 10 years and put them out after eight years and then added those 42 months of maturation in ex sherry casks. And probably those have been the, the lighter ones, the re refill casks from Eredaur, so that the youthness was uh, matured 
by the subtractive maturation. So the whiskey uh, became mature over those years and then it added more intensity, more flavor from the Oloroso sherry cast and it was able to, to add through the uh, first eight years of maturation or close to eight years of maturation. Slightly more than eight years of maturation. So it's only 42 months, not 48. So wonderful, complex nose. A lot of sherry, of course. The taste is more complex and a lot more intense. There's spiciness on my tongue, it's prickling at the tip of my tongue. It's not sharp, it's not bitter, it's lively, it's wonderful, fresh and intense. And in the aftertaste, a little bit more of oakiness appears. So this is the older Edradour, the more mature Edradour, the more sherry Edradour. Um, and I think the additional 10, 10 euros, dollars, pounds you pay for this is worth the money. Yeah, wonderful piece of work. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. And as always, Please share this video with your friends.